Hey everybody, it's Austin Ward for Letterman Road. Back for the first time, I guess, with a basketball buck IQ. We've got the former Ohio State star Terrence Dials joining us here in HQ. We're going to put on some film. And for the first one, we're going to have to start, I think, with Caleb Wesson. I mean, <laughs> right. this guy has been having a phenomenal season. As, as Caleb Wesson goes, seems like the Buckeyes go, Terrence. What have you thought about this guy as he's kind of taken his next step here as a sophomore? Well, I thought last year, let me start off with last year, I thought he made strides throughout the season last year. Um, you know, obviously, I think the conditioning part mm -hmm. of it was was part of the reason why he wasn't playing well early on. And I think, you know, throughout the season, he started playing well. And over the summer, you can tell he worked on his body, uh, his conditioning. And obviously, the coaches there are working with him uh, in the gym with post moves. It seems like, you know, offensively, he's come a long way. And it's been, you look at the Michigan State game, he carries them there as a great matchup uh, against maybe an NBA player. But the foul trouble, Terrence, yeah. I mean, for a big man, how difficult is it walking that line so you can keep him on the floor? Well, you know, he actually had a tough matchup on uh, against yeah. Michigan State. You know, those those two actually been playing against each other for a long time. <laughs> One went to Westerville South, and then he went to Gahanna Lincoln. Yeah. So they've known each other pretty well, and it's been kind of like a, a rivalry amongst each other. So I knew those two were going to battle, <laughs> um, and I knew it was going to be a lot of fouls calls, going to be physical. Um, they're two directly they're different, yeah. you know, uh, is how they play. You know, Nick is more athletic, I think, and and uh, Caleb eats up space, and he beats you with angles, you yeah. know? They're going to need Caleb to keep eating up that space. They're going to need <laughs> to keep him on the floor, scoring points, grabbing rebounds down the stretch as Ohio State tries to rebound from a couple, t couple tough games, get things going in Big Ten play here down the stretch again. Terrence is going to break it all down with what Caleb Wesson is bringing to the Buckeyes this year. So let's roll the tape. In and out, steps back, got that... New York, New Jersey handle inside Wesson. Power dribble. Got Ward in the air and bent it down. All right, Terrence, the first thing that everybody notices about Caleb is obviously the size. Gets a post here and just a strong finish down inside. Well, yeah, obviously you see he, he, he's hungry for the ball. Um, you know, he's calling for it, and his teammates are doing a good job of looking inside the post right here. Just a pretty, just a, just a good move. Um, Nick is in bad defensive positioning right now. Uh, he's leaning, and Caleb took advantage of that. It, it looks like... This was kind of what Chris Holman was talking about. With, with Kyle Young, you could go four out and one in with Caleb. And this, this hasn't always worked for Ohio State when it's not making shots, but this works when you can throw it in the post, right? Um, I'm a big proponent of a four out one in. That's how I got most of my buckets playing for the Buckeyes <laughs> with Coach Mata. And, um, you know, when, you have, when you're surrounded by shooters, mm -hmm. the defense has to lock in on those guys, and it gives you space to just operate down on and it, it helps, obviously, as we let this go here and look at, there were a lot of possessions like this for Ohio State where they were just basically going to throw it into Caleb and let him work because this is, this is going to be, I think, Ohio State's best offense. It is. Um, I, you know, obviously, as a, as, a former, as a big man for Ohio State, yeah. I would like to see him go inside out first. Um, I think you like this one, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I was just saying earlier, it looks kind of like he stole my move, you know. <laughs> a little midline, midline post, left-hand hook. Get position, eat up space. I mean, he's been doing a good job of that all season. Is that, I mean, how many hours of work goes into just this one move? Uh, it's, I mean, it's tons. Um, I remember when Coach, Coach Mata first got here, I didn't have this move in my repertoire, and mm -hmm. uh, we worked tirelessly to, you know, left-hand hooks, right-hand hooks, and then you have a counter. And obviously, Caleb's been doing a good job of that in the gym. Woods. Bounce pass. Bless it. Across the lane, nice ball, oh, and an easy left hand layup. Well, it's interesting that you you reference a counter because he would need one later on against Michigan State, and and he showed it with uh, a little up and under here. Yeah, well, you set him up. You know, you set him up with the first move first. Now he's going to bite on that, and now you have the up and under. Great move, good fit, good footwork. Uh, you know, I can't say too much more about this move right here. I eleven against Maryland. Now he has eight tonight. And Wesson, he will take that. He missed one in the first half. He hits there. If there's something that makes Caleb dangerous more, it's not just that he's enhanced maybe the post moves, but as we're going to see here in that game that didn't go so well for Ohio State, but he's at least able to step out now and knock down some threes. Yeah, you know, he was he was able to do that last year. Um, I haven't watched Caleb play in high school. I've seen mm -hmm. him knock down several threes in high school. It's just having the opportunity, uh, you know, and having coach have confidence in the big guys shooting threes. That's not, that's not an easy task to gain confidence <laughs> from coaches. <laughs> it changes something, too, because you look here, like Rutgers seems to have no interest whatsoever in defending the perimeter against him. Well, that's a scouting report. You know, um, coaches, 
they make these scouting reports and they say, you know, they point out who's going to be the shooter. And right now you see the space that right that uh, Caleb is providing. Nobody's stepping out. So you have to shoot that, you know. And the defense recovers. Wesson to his brother for the one-handed flush. And then this, this final play before we wrap up the first breakdown here of Caleb Wesson. I knew that this was going to get you out of your seat. Watch this finish here. <laughs> You didn't awesome, think he had this, did you? Awesome finish. I was, you know, <laughs> I, t I talked to Scooney a lot, you know, and Scooney's a player development at Ohio State, and I always be like, hey, man, we need Kayla to dunk more. You know, that, <laughs> that'll provide more energy. This provided energy right here. I mean, his, team's, his team is excited. Look look at the bench. They haven't seen that, yeah. you know? <laughs> What's the energy that comes from that? You I mean, you see these guys going. Like, you just, that energy you're talking about, that jolt, like, how that, much does that really matter? That that matters tremendously. I mean, you get back on the defensive end, people have more energy, they're, they're, they're lower on defense, mm -hmm. and you get stops. Um, you know, all two-pointers aren't the same, you know? Yeah. You, can, you can provide a punch with a, uh, with a slam dunk like this. This one helped. Ohio State did uh, look like it was going to escape Rutgers uh, earlier this week. Didn't turn out that way. Uh, but, you know, that's just one game for, for uh, Terrence Styles to break down with us here at Letterman Row on Buck IQ. A lot more to come as this season uh, starts heating up in Big Ten play. We're hoping to have Terrence with us uh, all the way through the big dance and uh, Big Ten tournament. We'll see what happens the rest of the way for the Buckeyes. But for Terrence Styles, I'm Austin Ward. We'll see you next time on Letterman Row, Buck IQ. Go Bucks.